Oh, hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my office. I thought it'd be fun to do a behind the scenes, a little tour of my office space so you can see that no matter how big or how small your office is, you can make it work for you. So I'm gonna give you an office tour coming up. All right, so starting with the workspace in this office tour, every office needs a workspace, a creative space. And this is where I do all my work, where I'm editing my videos, editing my pictures. And then of course, you've seen this as you know the backdrop to most of my videos lately. Let's talk about what I have going on here. I got the 13 inch 2018 MacBook Pro, which is my main workhorse for editing pictures editing videos and it comes with me just about anywhere when I'm going on a shoot so I can dump everything immediately. But when I'm here, I want a bigger screen to work on. So I got my 27 inch uh, iMac, which is connected to the MacBook Pro because that's the main workhorse. This is an older computer. So at this point, it is just a monitor. And then of course we got our backup hard drives. We got our Lacey uh, RAID system, which is awesome. Always updating our work here making sure it's redundant and that we never lose anything. And then the lights in the back, we got some a hue uh, strip where we can always change the lighting and gives it some cool mood. This is the, the lighting setup for when I'm recording videos, but I also have different scenes set up for when I'm editing or doing different work that, you know, kind of just gets me in the mood to work. So this is the workspace also. Of course, you gotta have a ton of sunglasses to choose from. So got my little sunglasses to choose from when I'm headed out on shoots. Let's move clockwise around the office and I'll show you what else we have going on. So this workspace is all about making sure that we're making the most use out of this tiny space. I mean, this is just an average size room. It's, it's 10 feet by 12 feet, so it's 120 square feet. It's not that big, but you wanna get the most out of it. So we have this folding shelf that I made actually last weekend because I needed a space to pack my gear, to unload my gear. And you'll see here at the end of the video where I keep my gear, but I needed a spot where I can, you know, set up my backpack, load up my stuff, unload my stuff because before it was just all over the floor. So my wife had this awesome idea of getting some foldable hinges. So when I'm ready to use this, I can just fold it up, put my backpack, backpack here and, you know, start working. Uh, this was actually just an original piece of plain pine. And uh, last weekend I, you know, beat the heck out of it with a chain, a hammer, some chisels, stained it, burnt it, painted it, um, and just made it look old. It was a lot cheaper than going and buying, like, you know, a big piece of old wood. And it was a lot of fun. So, you know, you should make your own stuff. All right, so we can fold this down when we're not using it. But also on this wall, we got a backdrop, some paper backdrops. These are great for taking photos and it gives this whole spot a whole nother scene for making YouTube videos. So we can just pull the, these paper backdrops down and we get a whole nother plain scene. We can change these out with different color paper, but this is awesome. Um, if you want to check this out, I'll link it down in the description of the video, but these are from newer, newer, right? Uh, am I saying that right? I don't know. Let me know. Anyway, so these pull down and give us a whole nother scene. So let's continue to move around the office and then, you know, you want to stick around to the end because the gear vault's the best part. All right, so moving around the office, we have our little relaxation station. Like that? I'm gonna trademark that, relaxation station. Actually, it's just a chair we got from World Market. Um, it's awesome, it's comfy. I think I may have sat in it too much because this leather is starting to peel. But this is where I hang out in the mornings, catch up on Twitter, catch up on your messages on YouTube and Instagram. And it's where, you know, this is the kind of area where me and my wife sit and brainstorm different ideas that we have. And this is just a nice relaxation station. And we also have some pictures on this wall of Yosemite that I took. Um, I love Yosemite. It's one of my favorite places on the planet. So of course, you know, you gotta print your work. It's, you gotta make sure it's not just living on a digital screen. Print it, hand it up in your office or your workspace, wherever you're going. All right, let's talk about the shelf. If you have been a subscriber and a watcher of my channel from the very beginning, this was the original backdrop. And everything here has a meaning. We got a cool old vintage camera that belonged to my wife's grandfather, which he used during World War II. We have some cameras that belong to my grandfather, some bulbs, some light meters that go with it. And then we got some old, awesome family Bibles that have been around for our, 
you know, since the late 1800s. So this whole shelf means something and it really ties us to our roots with our family. So I'm gonna probably start using this as a backdrop again. Um, I have some ideas for, you know, some topics, some interviews, and I think this would be a cool backdrop. But again, it's all about making the most use out of this tiny space. So now that we've kind of talked about the main workstation, what I use for my main YouTube videos, the paper backdrops and that wall that I can use for YouTube videos, this wall I can use for YouTube videos, everything has a purpose. But now let's go to the gear vault which you'll really enjoy. All right, so moving around the office, right here we have our light stand station, which is actually just uh, like these broom clips. You can get this at a hardware store. It's meant to you know, clip on brooms or whatever, but I'm using it for my light stands. It keeps them nice and organized. And then of course I got my camera slider here. Also with this clip I got from Ikea, which is really awesome. So when you're not using this bag, you can just clip that up. And then when you're using it, clip it down and we're good to go. And of course, we got some motivation up at the top. Cur uh, creativity currently in progress always reminding me that this space is for creativity. But this is where, this is the fun stuff. Let's, let's take a look at where I keep all my gear and how I organize it. Come on. So this side of my closet is dedicated to all my gear and you gotta be organized. If you wanna take good care of your gear, that needs to be organized. You need to know where it's at. So starting over here, we have these little hardware drawers, which again, you can get at a hardware store and then I label everything. So we got our SD cards and SSD drives, GoPro accessories, camera batteries, accessories for the drone, uh, cleaning gear, and then room for growth, of course, because you're always getting gear. Uh, we got up here, we got some extra bags. We got the drone, Mavic Air, of course, super awesome and tiny for when you're on the go. We got a pegboard over here where I hand my microphones. We got some gaff tape, really awesome aperture light and some guards for the drone. Then we have all our cameras. We've got the Nikon D500, which, which I actually use for most of my pictures paired with either the 35 mil or a nice wide angle lens. And you know, when you need some extra reach, of course we got the, the 70 to 200, but yeah, I use the Nikon D500 paired with a battery grip, which is awesome when you're out shooting for long periods of time. I suggest uh, you get a battery grip. That way you have an extra battery. Then right here, goes the Nikon, not the Nikon, the Sony A6400, which we're sitting on, uh, shooting on, and then, you know, the Sigma lens, which we're shooting on. We got our Joby Gorilla Pods up here. We got a Manfrotto tripod over here. These little, these little thingies, which are awesome for organizing cables or strapping stuff on your backpack. So you can always use those. And then we got Manfrotto tripods, of course. Manfrotto makes the best tripods. Some more organization over here. We got, you know, our camera straps, we got, all our cables and then as we go down we had to come up with an idea to store some extra gear because you got to make sure your storage space can grow with your camera gear so we have you know the ronin s then we have uh, some more lights these lights are great you got to check these out i'll link them down below these are great video maker led panels super inexpensive these are bicolor, so it can go anywhere from uh, 2300k to uh, 60 800k and then you can adjust the brightness you can also either plug these into the wall or you can get some batteries and you can have a mobile but these are great this is what i use for my my rim light in my videos as well as uh, i'll put some of these camera gels on them and you get that cool little purple background or whatever color background you want but you'll see that in my videos too so yeah and then we got our, our backpacks hanging up but this is where i keep all my gear nice and organized and then, oh, let's talk about the key light, which is over here, which is super bright. But if you look at the key light, we're using the Godox SL60W, which is an awesome budget option for lights because lights can get really expensive. And we all want the Aperture 120D Mark II, right? But not all of us have 800, 900, $1,000 to spend on lights. So this light, super budget friendly and works amazing. All right, so that's, that's the gear. All right, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this little look behind the scenes of my workspace. As you can see, we got tons of gear to review and test out to make videos about. But hey, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment below if you've enjoyed it or you have any questions. But now I have some work to do, so make sure you subscribe. But time for you to go. All right, see ya. Hey, you're, you're still here? I, I thought you left. Well, since you're still here, 
Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified for my next video. I'll see you there.